Hey, hi guys, uh, I'm from ACM student chapter IIT ISM Thanwar. Uh, I'll be discussing this problem D from code forces round 653 div 3. So uh, what we are given is an array A of uh, n positive integers and an integer x will, which will be starting from 0. Okay, so there are two operations that we have to do. One is add x to the to an array element okay and then increment x other operation that we can do is just incrementing x so you can see that in both the operations in either of the operations we are incrementing x anyhow okay fine and one more thing that they have mentioned here is that uh, the first operation can be applied no more than once for each element in n right so that means for each index i I can do this operation only once, right? So there will be some unique x that I'll be adding to each of the array element. Okay. Now what do we need to do is we have to find the minimum number of moves required to obtain such an array such that each of its element is divisible by k. Okay. So k will also be given. So let's see what is given, right? Uh, some t test cases and the value of n and k and this array of integers okay and we need to output the minimum number of moves in order to op obtain uh, such an array okay so uh, let us take this example let us copy this example small example okay so um, see first of all uh, what I'll do is that since this is my array what I'll be doing is uh, finding that uh, what is the value of what is the value that I need to uh, need, uh, need to add to it such that it becomes a multiple of k right so this is uh, it's simple that I'll add 2 to it such that 1 plus 2 will become 3 which is the multiple of k okay so when x is equal to 2 I'll be adding it here <clears throat> okay and for this one it's simple that uh, when x is equal to 1 I will be adding it here right and now for this one sorry for this one you see it's again for x is equal to 2 I will I will be adding it here but uh, one more thing is there that <clears throat> for x is equal to 2 I am already adding it here right so I need to find another value of x that I need to add here which is nothing but 2 plus 3 in this case or 5 right okay and for this I need not add anything okay so uh, we have to find the minimum number of operations to do so in other words once look back at the question see what they are saying is in both of these steps x is being in incremented by 1 right so can I say that the maximum value that I am adding to it okay the maximum value I am adding to it that is my maximum value of 1 or the number of steps that I have performed hey na? so yes you are right if you are thinking so then you are right uh, that uh, the maximum value of this is the uh, number of is the answer basically okay so let us understand the problem well so what I'll be doing is writing a pseudocode here uh, in this loop I'll be inputting a number x I'll be doing x modulo k right and if x is not equal to 0 right x is not equal to 0 then what I'll be doing is I'll be storing k minus x in some container. Now, why am I doing it? Because as explained earlier, if one is occurring twice, uh, suppose if the same number is occurring twice in the previous case it was one, then I can't add the same value of x to both of them. Like in the previous case, for the first one I added two, and for the next one I added two plus k in that case which was 2 plus uh, 3 and that is 5 right 
okay so that's why i'm storing the occurrences of k minus x right so i'll use a map for it map okay map and this thing plus plus for each occurrence that will be getting added right okay now iterating over the map uh, what i'll be doing is uh, what is happening suppose i take another example of uh, four numbers and i have to make it a multiple of three and the four numbers are one 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 okay now what is happening in this case it will be we will be requiring two in the next case we will be requiring two plus three five uh, then plus three then eight and that then the last one is eleven so what is happening our uh, we will go with our loop here with this one so i am inputting a number x then i will do x modulo k and then map of k minus x is being increased so you see the map of m, uh, the mp of uh, 2 in this case will be equal to 4 in this case the mp of 2 will be equal to 4 hey now? and uh, we have to find the last value the this we have to find this maximum value okay so how will we do it is <clears throat> see uh, what is what is this 5 5 is 2 plus k this is 2 plus 2 into k this is 2 plus 3 into k okay in other words the maximum value will be 2 from here and whatever number of occurrences are there minus 1 into k or i can say uh, like uh, while i'm iterating in the map with an iterator it then what i'll do is it of it ka first plus map of it ka first minus sorry minus one times into k okay like in this case it first was two and map of it first was four uh, minus one times so three into k so two plus three into k that will be the maximum value of x that will be reaching that hey na? and uh, you will see that that will be the answer itself right so <clears throat> okay so that's what i'll be doing for each of the uh, for each of the element of the map right so let us look at the implementation here so as said um, as the pseudo code goes uh, you can refer the pseudo code here i'll be inputting a value x and then doing the same thing as explained below okay then uh, uh for this uh, i'll be storing it in some value x and finding the maximum over it right it's the same thing as i have explained it of second minus one into k plus it of first right okay great now you can see that uh, i've done something like mx plus plus right and also a condition is there now let us check why is it so see as they have said that x is starting from zero so i'll say that if an answer exists if an answer exists then mx value won't be equal to zero so if an answer exists what i'll do is i'll just add one to it why because this one is added for making x for converting x value from zero to one okay by doing the second operation okay uh, i hope it is clear now let us uh, this is a uh, sample for the code the same code so i'll just show that it is running here i'll just check whether it's running correctly okay so here you can match with the output that uh, it is running correctly okay so i hope you understood it and i'll be sharing the link link of my uh sorry link of my uh, submitted code so i hope you understood it well and like uh, explanation 
so if you have any queries uh, so do po post it in the comment section and if you like it then share